In this video, we will be going through the steps required to sync your H2X project to Revit. The first step is to download the add-in from the Autodesk App Store. You can do this by clicking on the export button on the export page, which will link you to the Autodesk App Store where you can download the free add-in. You can also click on learn more where you will find information similar to what you will see in this video. Follow the instructions on the download and when you open Revit, make sure to load in the add-in. Then you can open up the architectural model or the model that you want to sync the project to. And in the add-ins tab, you will find the H2X sync button. If it's not there, try restarting Revit. When you open up the add-in, you'll be prompted to log in with your H2X credentials. And the next step will be to map the H2X project to this Revit project. To do this, click on the settings tab and follow the six items down the left hand side. First thing you'll want to do is to find the project that you want to sync with. And I always get in the habit of clicking save every time I make a change. Next, we'll want to align the system in Revit to the same point as we did in H2X. So we'll display the base point that we had on Gridline 1D in H2X and we'll move it to the exact same place in Revit. You can rotate this if you need to, to match true north. And if the display point isn't showing in Revit, we've got quite a few tips on how you can make that show. And it's usually something to do with your visibility settings on that floor. Now the next four steps are about mapping components from the H2X project to this project settings and also your company's BIM standards. So for example, you can map a cold water system in H2X to your cold water Revit system. The copper pipe can be mapped to your Revit family. The levels from H2X can be mapped to the same level in Revit. And any valves can be mapped to the families you have. And this will allow the Revit model that is produced to still look and feel exactly like the BIM model that you would produce manually. And once you've mapped it all together, make sure that all of these steps are green. If they're not, just click on it and it will take you to it. And then you can do the mapping. And then as you click preview, if anything hasn't been mapped, you will be made aware here. And because we don't have anything, we can go ahead and click sync. And in H2X, you can draw things that Revit can't make, such as a really small elbow or a wonky angle. So if you just click delete there, it's really just saying that there might be a couple of instances where it's not been able to fit a fitting and it's gonna create everything else but that. Like you can see here, a couple of fittings couldn't get made, but everything else could be. So that's from the pipes, the fittings, and the valves all coming across at the right size from H2X. And if you click on any component now, like a pipe, you can see it's brought technical information across too. Next, you can start making changes to the Revit model as you normally would. So you can do annotations and for coordination, if you need to move pipes, move heat emitters, or even draw new pipes to offset around beams or other services, you can go around and do all of that as normal. And once you have done that, you have the option of exporting a new PDF that you can link back in to the existing H2X model. To do this in the floor plan mode, make sure the PDF is unlocked and then click to replace the PDF with the new one. And as you can see, that's got the new layout from Revit. You can hold shift and move the PDF if you need to align it again to that same grid line. And here we can see the existing H2X layout with the updated Revit one. And it's really easy to drag pipes around to match this layout. And if you need to draw new pipes, you can do that too. Then by following this process, it means that when you click results, you're gonna have a Revit model that's perfectly coordinated and you've got the exact calculations to match, which will help you answer any future RFIs and de-risk you. So if you'd like to try this on your next project, we do have a 14 day free trial at h2xengineering.com.